You ever have one of those days where everything is going right? The work is done, the bills are paid, and you wonder, how can I mess this up? That's right, we're opening up this Charizard UPC. We're officially in the Alt Art Chase arc of this channel. So I was wondering whether we should just go all out and take a quick degen shot at every Sword and Shield set that you can get out of this box. And there we have it, folks, the Charizard UPC in 2024. Super degen vibes right now in the Shant Arena. We have some awesome promos that come in this box. You know, and a couple of stabs at uh, a lot of the Sword and Shield sets which are popping off right now and just flying to the moon in terms of price. But before this, I also want to show you. So I have been grabbing a few alt arts here and there and uh, they're just a couple of cheap ones, you know, to start off the collection. Nothing major, nothing big. That's where we are. So I'm I'm really hoping we can pull some alt art, one alt art, any, any value, it doesn't matter. That being said, let's get right into this. This. I actually want to keep this box, so I'm trying not to damage it while opening. But it has been unsealed. Oh, okay, this is magnetic. Yo, that is so cool. That is some serious bling right there. Okay, so the trays are the other way. Oh my god, this is some seriously good presentation, guys. This is the main reason we have opened this box, to get these three promos. Alright, so at least they've given us like maximum chances for some of the best alt arts. I think Brilliant Stars is the Charizard. Astral is a Machamp. Uh, we have Gengar in the Fusion Strike. <laughs> of course, we have the Moonbrion, which is... There's no shot. My prediction for this opening is just a bunch of trainer galleries. But let's begin with a little bit of Darkness of Blaze. There you go, code card for you guys from Darkness of Blaze. Nothing from Darkness of Blaze as expected, as usual. Vivid Voltage is, I think, the Pikachu, right? Again, I don't know. I just want to pull something interesting, something fun. And of course, Galarian Stunfisk always reminds me of Pokemon Go. I think I might want to do like one shot at everything and then we have two packs each left, right? So let's go from left to right. Let's go Brilliant first. I think this is the uh, the promo is after the battle. And the alt art is the battle between the Charizard and the Venusaur. Is this gonna be just regular rares and hollows? It could be. Uh, knowing my luck with Sword and Shield, it could just be regular rares and hollows all the way. Magnezone hollow. So there we see our first hollow is a Magnezone. Fusion strike, as CTR says. Oh. <laughs> Wow, Fusion Strike hits with a Rainbow Rare. Energy, Bug Catcher, Center Scorch, Glyce Gone, Code Card for you guys. I don't know what the hit rates are from this box. I have no clue. I just know that my luck with uh, Sword and Shield has just always been absolutely poor. Let's get into Evolving Skies. Guys. So there you go. We have exactly two packs of each. So let's go into the two packs of Astral first and foremost because I'm not really chasing that much champ, all dart, all the starmy, uh, misty and starmy. Uh, I don't like the artwork that much. I don't see like what the real hype is. Um, I guess it's just the pull rate, and maybe I missed the hype during the time you know the set was relevant. So I'm not really that much of an astral fan. I just do like it because there's a mighty Anna trainer gallery, and of course I love mighty Anna because of Fiona, regular rare on this pack, second pack of astral radiance. Astral Radiance, never had any good luck. Not really a very big fan of the set. The really fun sets to open are now in front of us right now. So let's get into the next one, which is Brilliant Stars. I just enjoy Lost Origin. I'm enjoying the Giratina Chase. There are a lot of cards and Pokemon that I recognize and I and I love. So it's just it's just a nice set. Lost Origin is currently my favorite Sword and Shield, and I've had decent luck with it, mostly with trainer galleries. Um, no no big hits. I, like I said uh, at the start of this video, I haven't pulled an alt art yet. Mm -hmm. 
let's get into lost origin the tina chase is still on from the looks of it it doesn't seem like we're going to be pulling anything from these uh, packs two regular rares not even a hollow on the lost origin funnily enough after an opening like that where we didn't really pull anything where we have only picked up the promos and one rainbow rare evolving skies is unfortunately not what you want to see at the end because yeah the pull rates on these are way tougher than all the others uh, which causes the big hits to go up in price but let's see hippopotas phoebus uh gossifleur gossifleur woobat gold duck followed by not even a regular hollow and a green coat card right there to show you what's up can we get some last pack magic can we pull the rayquaza from the rayquaza pack i must say the evolving skies alt arts are the prettiest ones uh, and i think most in number right there are 17 alt arts let's see if we can pull even one from this last pack very doubtful but i hope you guys enjoyed this opening of this charizard upc in 2024 and you guys can decide is it worth opening these you think i should have left it sealed like everybody advised me but <laughs> there we go we get our answer with the flapple in the face a flapple a day keeps all the alt arts away boulder floret single strike scroll and there you go code card a pretty standard opening <laughs> for sword and shield for me but overall still a fun experience i wish i had a more relevant experience of this when it was released but still even right now i think this is a fun thing to open i mean the alt art chase is just something that was brilliant about sword and shield and i really hope that the scarlet and violet sets that are upcoming have a similar vibe to it but that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one till then happy hunting